Hey, what are you doing? Detective Sebastian Castellanos to survive, he'll have to withstand this inhuman evil. Wait, Doc. I think something's coming. The enemies of the evil within are known as the haunted, tortured souls driven by one goal, to slaughter without mercy. Ruthless and powerful, the haunted pose a formidable threat to Sebastian as they stalk him relentlessly. With scarce ammunition and resources to go around, even a single enemy can send Sebastian to the grave. It's not just enemies that will tear Sebastian apart. The environment itself is laced with perilous traps. Tripwires, proximity explosives, and noxious gas are a few of the lethal hazards that threaten Sebastian. But paying attention to revealing clues can turn a deterrent into a helpful weapon. While the haunted are fearsome and the surroundings are treacherous, there are some enemies so powerful, not even death can stop them. Wielding a hammer and the harvested brains of his victims, the Keeper causes lethal damage with every strike. Sebastian's survival is dependent on keen observation and lightning-quick reactions. While fleeing a dangerous situation can be the best route to survival, that isn't always an option. By disassembling the Keeper's traps, Sebastian can craft bolts for his most versatile weapon, the Agony Crossbow. The Agony Crossbow uses ammunition salvaged from mechanical parts. When bullets are nowhere to be found, Sebastian can use a variety of bolts to harpoon, shock, or freeze his adversaries. The enemies of the Evil Within serve a single purpose, to hunt Sebastian and kill him. Every encounter is a tense battle for survival, and knowing when to stand your ground and when to evade is the difference between life and a gruesome death. 